Hello students, let's see how to solve a J advanced question under 3 minutes. Now we have taken a question from J advanced 2020 paper 1, which says, let the functions f and g be defined as shown. Then the area of the region in the first quadrant bounded by the curves and x equal to 0. Now x equal to 0 means y axis, so we have to find the area starting from x equal to 0 till their first point of intersection. Now we do a simple simplification by putting x equal to x plus 1 so that these expressions will become convenient and easy to integrate and we can solve the equation faster. Now when we bake the substitution of x by x plus 1, we shift the graphs to the left by 1 in it. But we must remember by doing this, the area bounded will not change. Area is invariant of the shifting of axis. So the only thing new that happens is that now we have to find the area starting from x equal to minus 1 till their first point of intersection. So now let's see how the changes affect these functions. The functions become like this, so we are naming them bx and hx, right? x minus 1 becomes x because x is replaced by x plus 1 and similarly the other changes. Now px, if you focus on that, we say that when x is less than 0, mod x is minus x, so px between minus 1 to 0 gives you 0 value, else it is e to the power x minus e to the power minus x from 0 to infinity. Now e to the power x plus e to the power minus x by 2 that is hx is always having greater value than bx. So now we can form over two integrals for the evaluation of the area required. But before that we need to do one more thing to find the point of intersection. We need to equate the two functions and solve for x as shown. You can see here the value of x comes out as ln root 3. So our integrals would be as shown first from minus 1 to 0, second from 0 to ln root 3. In both of them, we have taken care to write the graph above minus graph below, so as to give us the positive physical area, and that is how you do the calculations. You can see e to the power ln root 3 is root 3, and e to the power minus ln root 3 is 1 by root 3. Using these values, you come to the final answer, which is 2 minus root 3 plus half e minus e power minus 1. So our final answer is the option A of this question. Thanks for watching the video. Stay tuned.